Okay, guys, so I'm back, like I said I would be, with Kamisha's Do's and Don'ts of Flocky. Number one, do research natural hair. That is my first do. I say this because in order to understand the locking process, you first have to understand your hair in its natural state. You have to understand the stages of locking. You have to understand what's good for it and what's not good for it. You have to understand your scalp. You have to understand, um, just, you just need an understanding of what you're going to be doing, what you're going to be working with. Black hair is very fragile. Not to say that it's weak, but it has a characteristic to be fragile. As it coils, every every place that the hair bends creates a breaking point. And so that's why um, people with their natural hair, you see a lot of shedding. Because, you know, because of the fragility of the hair. So one thing you're going to want to not to do. I mean, you need this understanding so that you won't do my first dump. Do not retwist your hair while it's dry. Do not sit up with your short baby locks and twist them and twist them and twist them and twist them. Do not do that. I see that happening so much. It aggravates me because what you're doing is you're breaking your hair off. Remember what I said about um, black hair? Wherever it spirals, there's a breaking point. The hair is already fragile. And you're sitting here with this dry hands and friction and you're rubbing it. So that breaking point is being broken. And so every time you're twisting, you're breaking little hairs. And so eventually when your hair grows out, you're going to have weak spots because you've already damaged the integrity of your hair at the root. That's my number one don't. Um, do. Number two. Do embrace the stages of locking. I see so many people put so many products in their hair and they actually abuse the pro the, the you're abusing the hair um, and you are you're killing it. You're 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 not allowing it to breathe, so you're suffocating the hair with the layers of products that you are using. If you embrace your the locking process, you will understand that your hair is not always going to be neat. Which goes back to my number one do research. Because when locking, the thing is your hair goes through stages. When you first twist that hair, it's gonna be in this pretty neat, very well manicured style. It is not going to stay that way. Putting product will make it look neat for a little bit but the nature of the lock is to frizz out because you have these hairs that are laying side by side just like this and so they're they're free to move they're not locked and so what happens is they start scat they start frizzing out and moving around to form that lock and so you're still trying to get it to look like this when in reality the nature of the lock is to look like this until it locks and then you have that little, you have the neatness. But your, your roots will always go through that process. Mine up go through it so much, you know, they're poofy, but I don't have that freeziness that I had, you know, with my baby locks. Um, one thing that I do miss is I miss my early stages of locking. I really, really miss it. I miss them sticking up and getting on my nerves and that pretty mane that I had because it stood out which my hair is thick enough that it still stands out but I just love that look when you know at that time at first I didn't love it but I grew with I grew to love it because I knew that there was a process it's like having a new baby those babies come out the womb I don't care what you or nobody else says when babies are first born they are ugly they are like these little creatures with this big head they have this wrinkly face they don't resemble anybody their nose is flat they're, they got this round face. They're, until they start coming into their features, they are ugly. They, they're cute, but they're ugly. And it's the same thing with your, with your, with your lives. 
just because that baby isn't as cute as it's going to be, you know, in like a month or even two weeks, you know, they start changing quick. But those brand new, fresh out the womb babies, not pretty. But I guess, you know, you can start seeing changes the next day or even a few hours. And that's the same. And you, you can see that this baby, even though it was late when it came out, is going to be pretty one day. And so this is the thing with your hair. Know that, you know, it's not as pretty as you want it to be, but it's cute. It's a baby. You have baby locks. One day they're going to be mature locks. And so you have to embrace those stages. Don't try to rush your hair to grow. That's my number two. Don't. Do not try to rush your hair to grow because once it gets about this length, that hair gets heavy. It's horrible to wash. And it just gets in the way. Yes, I love my locks. But it sometimes it just gets in the way and I wish it was short again. Um, and also in, in washing them. Oh my God, that is an Olympic event. It's an Olymp Olympic sport to wash my hair. And um, everybody's trying to rush to do those styles. Once your hair gets a certain length, you're not going to be doing those styles. You, I mean, if you go out a lot or you just have to have your hairstyles, yes, but most people, we don't do styles that look like this or it's in a braid out or some curls. That's just about it. You know, so don't try to rush that process. Uh, let's see. Do dilute your shampoo. Well, do monitor the amount of products that you use. I don't know if I said this or not because, like I said, I'm not exactly sober. So please excuse me if I say something twice. Um, oh shit. What was I saying? Oh, um, my, what I would say is, you know, pay attention to what you're putting in your hair. Do dilute your shampoo. And I say this, I used to dilute my shampoo early in my stages, but like I said, once you've been headlocks for a little bit, you don't really take care of them as much as you did. And so I stopped diluting my shampoo. So one day I got in the shower, I was like, I really don't have to tell shampoo, but I do need to, you know, at least let some water run through my hair. And so I'm scrubbing with the water. I get out the shower and my hair smells just like Garnier Fruities shampoo, which means that the shampoo is concentrated. It's not coming out of my sponge of a lot. And so do dilute your shampoo. Don't stop diluting your shampoo. Um, do take it easy. Sometimes, you know, when you have scalp issues or something, it's not because your hair needs something in it. It's because you have too much stuff in your hair. And your body needs water. Drink a lot of water. Um, let's see. Don't. Don't use anything that is not water soluble. Do not use bee wax. And I know oils aren't water soluble either, but they are, you know, liquid. Um, don't use too much gel. Don't use too much oil. Don't use petroleum, petroleum jelly. And I'm not petroleum jelly. Don't use, pe yeah, petroleum jelly. Try to stay away from things that are petroleum based or wax based. Because what that's doing is, it's getting, it's liquid in your hands, but it's turning to solid in your lungs. And it's not water soluble. So the water and stuff is getting on the shampoo. It's just sticking to it. And it's just building up in your locks. It's trapping more skin cells. It's keeping dirt. You're going to have gray film. It's going to keep moisture in there. You're going to get mold. Your hair is going to stink. Don't use it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Use uh, like people who retwist. Some things that I found that really work when they retwist twist water you can re switch your hair with water but if you have to have something you can do it with oil not a lot of oil and just set the root look at that one it's just sticking out yeah and then put it down so and um uh, setting lotion setting lotion was works great and if you're going to use a gel be very careful on the amount of gel you use it doesn't take that much. And guess what? After all that retwisting, your hair is going to freeze up again. <laughs> okay, so I think those are my do's and don'ts. 
Um, I guess I guess some more do's would be do wrap your hair up at night when you sleep. I don't. I haven't in years. But, you know, I do kind of deep clean my hair every once in a while. Uh, let's see. Don't wear um, too many um, bands that pull your hair back like this. I mean, it's okay to wear them sometimes, but don't wear them all the time because what you're doing is you're messing up your um, hairline and so you're going to be thin up here your forehead is going to be gone I mean bigger but your hairline is going to start somewhere back here and so don't use so many bands and stuff like that um, my, 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 my. don't pull your hair too tight um, don't wear don't what else I guess some people's wrist was too tight and you can see where that hair is pulling like if you put a rubber band on or you know how black people y'all like to y'all be liking to uh have everything laid and so you put all this gel and you be pulling braids and stuff tight so people foreheads be like this and they can't blink and you be killing the hairline and so you know you got to be careful of that because you don't want to weaken your locks because you're putting too much stress and strain on it. Like even when my hair is in a ponytail, I guess I can start feeling it pull because it's getting so heavy now that I very seldom, very seldom wear a ponytail. I usually do two plaits like this. Yes, I wear my hair in two plaits. Especially if it's, you know, a little style. Oh, wet it up with some water. Oh, you see that? My hair still does that. I can still pull my hair back up like I got a fro and let free for him. And so I have to be careful when I do my hair like that because I don't be wanting to pull it too tight around here. And I'll still like that long anyway because it's heavy and it hurts my head. But you know what? <clears throat> At least y'all got to see my life. I'm going to say one more time. Long hair, don't care. Been crafting. I got stuff all over my shirt. Um, this is a side. This is the other side. Uh, and let's see. Let me see what it is. Oh, y'all, excuse my fat. This is the back. Okay, so I've made like two seriously long videos. Thank you guys for joining me in my non-sober state video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and peace.